Hi, my name is Dara. I'm a technical support engineer here at Simply Nook, and today I'm going to show you how to remove a motherboard from a 4x4 unit. This one specifically is a Tiger Canyon Nook, but it may differ depending on what Nook you have. So before we begin, of course, make sure that you are ESD safe, you have your ESD equipment on, and you want to have a couple of Phillips head screwdrivers. I'll begin now, and I'll turn the unit upside down, and I've already unscrewed the four screws of the base plate, so I'll just lift that off. And place it to the side. So now you can see the motherboard there and to remove this motherboard there are two screws holding the motherboard down. One here and one here. So we need to remove those two. Now that we've removed those two screws we also have to remove the Wi-Fi antenna cables that are connecting to the Wi-Fi card. So we'll carefully pull up the wires and they will just unclip, just like that. Make sure we remove them from the motherboard itself there and rest them to the side. Now I'll turn this unit around just to make it easier for me. And you want to grab, on this case, you want to grab the standoff there for the SSD, pull the chassis forward to flex it slightly and lift up and I'll pull out just like that. Very simple, easy peasy. We can rest out to the side. Make sure you do put your motherboard on an ESD safe service. And now we can just place our base plate back, put that to the side, and then now you're ready to have fun with your motherboard. Thank you very much.